Okay, so if I want to simplify this, um, simplify this uh, rational expression, the main thing I want to do is I need to get rid of that square root of 10. All right, so I need to multiply by square root of 10 because you can't divide by square root of 10 because square root of 10 is an irrational number. You can multiply by the two, but it doesn't really matter that you can divide by two. So two can stay on the bottom. You just need to make sure you multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 10. Right? So therefore, what I have is, when I multiply this, this is square root of 10 times um, 2 square root of 10. So you can just going to multiply these two together. All right, so since these are two terms multiplied by each other, so it's one term, you just multiply square root of 10 times square root of 10. So I'll have, and up here I'll do square root of 10 times square root of 5. So what I'll have is square root of 5 times square root of 5 times 10 all over 2 square root of 10 times 10. All right, that's a rule of exponents. Whenever you multiply two separate roots, you can combine them together inside of the roots. All right. Well, square root of 10 times square root of 10 times 10 is 100. Square root of that is 10. So therefore, I'm going to get 20 on the bottom all over 5 times square root of 50. Then I need to look at this and say, well, can I reduce the square root of 50? And I'm not going to go through the simplifying, but yes, you can rewrite the square root of 50 as, uh, what is it, um, 5 square root of 2? Okay. Do you want me to go how I did that? Yeah. yeah, like I don't understand how you jump from 20 to... You don't, from here to 20? Are you dividing the 5 by the 100? What? Oh, you see where you have the 10, 10 times? Yeah, that's 100. You're going to divide it by the 5. No, no, no. What's the square root of 100? What? What's the square root of 100? What? No. It's the square root of 10. 10. 10. 10. I didn't know that. Like, okay. he just jumped. Like. I, well, I said 10 times 10 is 100. The square root of 100 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. Okay? Now, if I was going to do this, I'm going to rewrite the square root of 50 as 25 times 2. And the reason why I rewrite it as 25 times 2 because I can take the square root of 25. I know that's a square number. The square root of 25 is 5. I, there is no square root of 2, so that's where I got that. Okay, so you have five times the square root of two. So I'm gonna rewrite that. So now what I have is five times five times the square root of two all over 20, okay? And then I look at this and I say, well, obviously what can I factor out? I can divide out a five and that'll give me um, five, uh, five fourths, right? If I divide out a five, that cancels out and that will be left me, left me with a four. So my final answer is 5 square root of 2 over 4. All right? That's it for that.